And we will not see the Saints on the practice field again until training camp. That's roughly six weeks to rest and recharge. Rod Walker from The Advocate will join me in studio in, in a minute. And one of the topics, number seven seems to be really comfortable in his role, and we haven't been able to say that. But let's start our four takeaways with this. Marshawn Lattimore and the DBs absolutely look like a strength. Lattimore, of course, is an elite talent. We saw that in a big way after he returned from injury last season. But he did miss 10 games. Games and the Saints need him. The, the expectation is for him to perform at an elite level. Um, he's got that ability. We need him to perform at an elite level to be the type of defense that we can be. And, and so uh, I think that's our expectation of him. I think that's his expectation, expectation of himself. And I think his overall competitiveness, his tenacity, his drive, I think that's what separates him. You know, I mean, you just watch, watch him today. He just competes, you know. Like a lot of guys are very talented, but they don't compete the way that he does. He's talented and he competes that way, you know, and, and then playing against him. I've played against him, too, in Las Vegas, and uh, there's just certain routes he don't throw his way. And I think Elante Taylor looks ready to take a major step forward. The secondary looks strong. At number three, and this is good and bad, Chris Alave and the wideouts. Alave looks like a blossoming star. He says he's bulked up a bit and is ready to put up huge numbers. But here's the thing about the wide receiver room. The Saints are counting on Rashid Shahid and Mike Thomas in a big way. Neither participated in minicamp. The room is thin without them. But if they're all good to go, they can be a really good group. I feel like we all uh, help each other. Uh, we all got different different play styles and different games, but uh, when we put all three of us together, it's like being on the field at the same time. You know, we never been on the field at the same time, but uh, just having those three different play styles come together, I feel like can be huge for us. If they can all stay healthy. At number two, Derek Carr has made a hugely positive first impression in Metairie. I think Derek has, has come in here and, and he like brings a presence, you know, like a great leadership. Here's a guy that's that's played a lot of football and he's been super productive throughout his career and so he steps in the locker room and you feel that. Quarterback is the most important position on the field and when you have a, a, a highly skilled player, a highly intelligent player, a guy that works the way that Derek does, a guy that has the type of leadership qualities that Derek has, you know, that's going to filter throughout the whole football team, players and coaches. Um, and I think that gives you uh, a lot of confidence going into the season. And that leads me to my number one takeaway from minicamp. Optimism is high in Metairie. This is the first thing Dennis Allen said after practice number three before he was even asked a question. I think it's been, you know, a heck of an off season for us, uh, both in terms of, you know, our preparation, in terms of player uh, acquisition. Um, I like where this football team is right now. I'm excited about um, what we're building here. You know, I think last year we, obviously we had a good locker room. You know, I feel like we had good players. Um, but uh, just something different about this year. Um, you know, I think we all kind of feel it right now. This team believes, like, we're probably like one or 12 teams that, like, has a legitimate, you know, chance to, like, go the distance. So uh, we all believe that right now. And that is strong. And Tyron Matthew has a Super Bowl ring. And that's our four takeaways from Saints minicamp.